Summary of the Scientific Method by Bill Gady. The establishment has yet to define the word science unambiguously and has no clue regarding the purpose of the scientific method. Closer inspection leads us to the center of the storm, the enigmatic word hypothesis. The morons of science have misconstrued the meaning and purpose of the hypothesis which they somehow associate with the ability to make predictions. The worldly wisdom is that if experiment confirms the hunch, the hypothesis can now be treated as a theory. And when the theory is approved by a show of hands, it now becomes a fact. In science, we do things a bit differently. First of all, science is not in the business of making predictions. This is the stuff of astrologers, charismatic evangelists, and mad scientists. And, if we use mathematics at all, it is merely to reinforce a theory. Equations are not a requirement of the scientific method. Mathematics describes. Mathematics does not explain. Science is about explaining why, not describing how. Then, in science, we don't test hypotheses. In science, we formulate them and ask the jurors to take them at face value. Assumptions we formulate. It is theories that we test, if at all, and only after the presentation is over. In science, there is no requirement for an experiment. A hypothesis consists of exhibits, definitions, and statements of facts. There is no provision in a hypothesis for math or for experiments. The reason a contemporary scientist cannot tell you the difference between science and religion is primarily due to the establishment's failure to define the term hypothesis scientifically. In other words, in such a way that it can be used consistently. Of course, when we follow the correct method, an entirely different picture of the universe emerges, and you realize that the mathematicians have wasted the last 400 years in worthless pursuits. Once again, we make the correct assumptions regarding the nature of invisible entities and mechanisms, light, the atom, magnetism, space, gravity. We are finally in a position to explain and understand why things happen. It is not the theories which are important in science, but the hypotheses. A genuine scientific theorist should spend 99% of his time brainstorming, researching, and developing his hypothesis, and the remaining 1% on his petty theory.